Hi guys, I'm Prakash Sharma and I'm making this video for my assessment at University of California, San Diego for teaching assistantship position. So in this video, we will be discussing how to delete a load in a binary search tree. So let's get started with it. Firstly, we assume that you guys are familiar with the concepts of node tree or the height of a tree refers to etc. in a context of data structures. So starting with binary search trees or BST, a BST is a binary rooted tree in which the key value of any node is greater than the key values of all the nodes in its left subtree and is less than all the key values of all the nodes in its right subtree. So while this is a binary search tree, this is also a binary search tree provided we mark this as the root node. Now, for solving any algorithmic problem, we need to first make sure that our logic is correct. And then we can go on improving the efficiency by reducing the time complexity and space complexity. And then we can try for further constant optimizations. So what that would mean in this case here is that however you may delete this uh, node in a binary search tree, but the binary search tree properties must be valid after the deletion. So the procedure of deleting a node in a binary search tree, BST, can be divided into three cases. First one, that the node to be deleted has no child. Second case, when a node to be deleted has a single child. And the third one, when a node to be deleted has, a, has two children. Now starting with the most, starting with the easiest case, the first one, when the node to be deleted has no child, that means that's a leaf node. So here we have many leaf nodes. So we can delete a leaf node and for that we just need to remove this node as simple as that. And why this works is because if we remove this node and set this pointer to null, still the BST properties are valid. See, 41 is greater than 36 and there is as there is no node present here, it's trivially true. Coming on to the second case, where our node has single child. So here also we can find a node which has a single child here. So for deleting this node, we can just remove these two pointers and set the right pointer of 41 node to point towards 43. Still here also we can see that binary search tree properties are valid because we can see in this subtree all the key values are greater than 41. Now also after the pointer manipulation, these values are greater than 41. And of course we haven't changed the left values, values in the left subtree. So we can see that BST properties still hold true. Now third case, when we delete, need to delete the uh, Chona node which has two children. This is a little bit tricky or rather interesting case. We can find here also, here, this node has two children or even this has two children. So the procedure to delete this node is first we try to find the smallest element which is larger than 97 in this case. And as you may see in this whole binary search tree, that element would be 109. And how do we go about finding this number? Firstly, we can see that 97 is the right child of 54. So all the members here will be more than have key values which are more than 54. So of course a number which needs to be greater than 97 must be found in this subtree. Further, it cannot be there in the left subtree, so it has to be there in this subtree. And to find out that, that node which is just larger than 97, we first traverse to the right and then we go on choosing left nodes, left pointers as we traverse down the tree until we encounter a null node. So we start from here, go right, then left, again left, then left, we encounter null pointer, so we stop here. And then we replace 97 with 109 because this is the node that needs to be deleted. Here we can check that BSC properties still hold true. 109 is greater than 54, then 72 is less than 109, and again here 129 is greater than 109. So we see that we can delete a node which has two children in this way. Another way which we can in which we can delete a node is let's say we have this node. For that we made this pointer manipulation. And if we have this node, 41, what we can also do is, we can find the largest element in this BST which is just smaller than 41 and that would be 40. Again the process is similar, we first go to the left, 
Then we go to the right until we encounter a null node. As soon as we encounter the null node, we stop there and we can replace 41 with 40. We can still see and verify that BST properties are still valid. So in the previous case, we replaced the node with its in-order successor, while in this case, we replaced that node in order with in-order predecessor. So both these cases are perfectly fine. Now we can go about to find the complexity of deleting a node. In the first case, when we need to delete a node which has no child, we just need to search that node and do some pointer manipulations. Searching a node in a bias tree costs us order of has a complexity of order of h, where h is the height of the minor tree. So the complexity when we deleting a child a node with no child is order of h. Again, when we go for the single child, like in this case, we again need to find that node in that tree and then do some pointer manipulations, which can be of order of constant time. So again, in that case, the complexity is order h. In the third case, we first need to find that node in that BS tree, then we need to also find the in-order successor or in-order predecessor as the case may be or as you may wish, as one may wish. So first to find that tree, uh, that node in that tree that costs us order of h and then again we need to find the in-order successor that would be down the tree that would again cost us order h. So the maximum height which we need to traverse in that tree would be of order h. So the overall complexity of deleting a node in a binary search tree is order of h which is in worst case equal to order of n where n is the number of nodes because we can even have the skew trees where the height of the tree is equal to one less than the number of nodes. So that's all how to delete a node in a binary search tree. Thank you. If you have any comment, uh, doubts, please post in the comment section. Thank you.